don't always require traveling halfway across the globe. Every year, more than 160,000 children worldwide are diagnosed with pediatric cancer, a number that is on the rise. That's where St. Baldrick steps in. St. Baldrick was started back in 2000 on St. Patrick's Day okay. by our three founders who are all Irish, and so they blended St. Patrick with Bald to Saint create St. Baldrick. Baldrick. So one day every year, thousands of people all over the globe shave their heads in honor of a loved one, a friend, or family member that has lost their hair to chemotherapy. I'm about to meet a special group of children trying to make a difference in the fight against cancer. I think we're really close to unlocking the keys to a lot of pediatric cancer, and you guys are really helping with what's needed. One of our researchers who recently shaved his head said it best. He said, I look forward to the day when I can tell a parent, your kid has cancer, but we have a cure, mm -hmm. and there's a hope for tomorrow. St. Baldrick's, an organization that raises money for pediatric cancers, recruits people to shave their heads to show solidarity for children who lose their hair to chemotherapy. Ten-year-old Maddie and her brother Michael are two of St. Baldrick's most enthusiastic fundraisers. So Maddie, why is St. Baldrick's important to you? It's really not fair that kids get cancer because their body's still so young and fragile. Riley, a family friend, is one of those children. Like with Riley, she knows she's very sick, but she's too young to even get the concept of cancer, which is the most sad part. They made little wristbands that say fight on Riley. So do you think when um, kids like you shave their head and go to class, does that help the kids with cancer feel better? I think so, because, you know, they think, you know, wow, Thanks for doing that. It makes me feel a little more comfortable. Five-year-old Zoe is also fighting for her life with support from her mom and grandfather, Poppy. We've been through so much in these past two years. We saw her go down to 33 pounds, and and we didn't know if she was going to make it. Yes, she's going to cry, you. No, I'm not. When I talk about you and your cancer, I get emotional. I am planning on shaving my head but it's all up on Zoe, because the whole point to me is solidarity. I'm still deciding on mommies. If I'm gonna let her do it or not. Help. Shaving my head is to show other women and other girls who are going through cancer, it's not who you are, it's what's inside. I just want them to know that bald is beautiful. For the second year, Maddie is on a quest to raise thousands to help kids like Zoe and Riley. So, Maddie, why don't you tell me about this booth you're setting up here? This is the booth for opening day registration. So you're hoping to get a lot of these little league guys to show yeah. up and shave their heads. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a flyer? Yeah. Thank you. Do you think you'd ever consider shaving your head? Yeah. Probably could. I'll be, I'll be tape person. Okay. You ready? So this morning we started with 23 shavies, and within the hour we already have seven more, so we're that much closer to reaching our goal of 50. You're awesome. Thank you. It'll be fun. This is a really, really exciting day. I'm here at the St. Baldrick's event, raising money for pediatric cancer research. Over the next five hours, 1,200 people are gonna be coming through these doors. We've got 15 barber chairs lined up in a row. Over 260 people are coming in, and they're gonna get their head shaved, all in the name of raising money for cancer research. There's some really amazing people I want you to meet, so let's go check it out. After weeks of raising funds and recruiting shavees, it was Maddie's brother Michael and dad's turn to get their head shaved. You're gonna be twins, Michael. Next, Riley's dad was up. No, are you ready? Are you ready? No, 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 no. Are you ready? Uh, no, but I don't have a choice now. Do you wanna help me? Do I help? Here, here, you help me. Let's get your, okay, dad, here we go. Did he miss a spot? Come on, give me one of these. Hey, Drew.
Drew, I think you'd look good with a haircut like this. You're next. Last, we met Brooke. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? I'm very ready. <laughs> Voila! Who decided to shave her head to honor her friend with cancer. All right, so you want to just leave it like this? Oh, no. It looks a little ratty. Keep going. All right, you sure? All right, this is good. Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Do it! Oh, yeah. Just do okay, it. Okay, here we go. So I am going all the way down. All the way. This is so fun. Look. After a few hours, the question on my mind was, would Zoe let her mother get her head shaved? Coming up more. Back out at the St. Baldrick's event, Zoe has finally made up her mind. She wanted her mom to have her head shaved. Hey, Zoe. I'm going to help you too, OK? Are you, are you sure about this? Yes, well, they're doing it. It was Zoe. Yeah, it's kind of too late now, huh? Zoe? You got that down. Oh, that's like a real barber. OK, Zoe, so we're here in our special reveal room. So your mom and your grandfather, they haven't seen their shaved heads yet. Cool. So, Zoe, I think it's time for them to see. All right? You can get the mirror. There you go. We'll have more. It's been a great day out here at St. Baldrick's, with more than 100 people shaving their heads to raise money for friends and family with cancer. But now it's time for them to reveal their brand new look. First up, Zoe's mom and grandfather Poppy. OK, Zoe, so we're here in our special reveal room. So your mom and your grandfather, they haven't seen their shaved heads yet. Cool. So, Zoe, I think it's time for them to see. All right? You can get the mirror. There you go, monkey. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Next, it was time for Zoe's mom to see her own new hairdo. There you go, Bear. Rawr. Oh, my gosh, it's short. So what was it like for you guys doing this today? Um, it was total adrenaline, to be honest. Uh -huh. It's exciting. It's fun. As proud as I am of Zoe, I am of my daughter, because she's really mothered me in a way that most people don't get to mug with their kids. And good thing you guys are doing here. You ready to take a look? <sighs> yeah. 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 <laughs> little drum roll. <laughs> OK. And mirrors coming in. Boom. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. This my head looks I, evenly shaped. I did a pretty good job. <laughs> uh, I should probably do a little touch up right there. Yeah. Uh, now, how do you feel, though? I feel well, good. What do you, what like do you feel? We raised a lot of money for a good cause. Right, you, Riley? You bet. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me. All right, so here we go. Moment of the truth, drum roll. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> hey, you did a really good job. Thank actually. you. You feel good about I this? I feel really good, yeah. yeah. I think I'm representing people that possibly can't get out of the hospital to spread the word. I'm so glad you came and you helped raise all these funds for children's cancer research. That's the number one thing we're doing here. Millions are being raised by this organization. It's so awesome. I'm so happy and honored to have been here and to be part of St. Baldrick's. Some of these kids, they are fighting the fight of their lives. And to know these families, what they've gone through, and they're here sharing their joy and their triumph and, and their struggles with everybody. <laughs> this was a, one big family here, everybody with the same goals and the same cause. As a pediatrician, that's, some of, that's one of the worst things I've ever had to do, is tell parents that their child has cancer. and. Um, that's, it would be so great to be able to then say, but it's curable. 
And that's why we need your help. Thanks so much to all the charities and organizations involved in today's show, including Smile Train, Bike Town Africa, St. Baldrick's, and Maternal Fetal Care International. Without all your hard work and dedication, none of this would be possible. To learn more about what you can do, go to thedoctorstv.com.